Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am back with another automatic curling iron. This curler is a little bit different than the review on the automatic cordless one I did last time. This one does have a cord, um, but it is still automatic. So I'm going to be giving you guys my review and showing you guys how to use um, an automatic curling iron and give you some tips and tricks on using um, a curling iron to get your hair to curl really good and look like this right here. So if you are interested, just keep watching. Before we start the video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you. Also, make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. I am going to be having a spring giveaway coming very soon that you definitely don't wanna miss. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So the curling iron did come with this tool right here and I wasn't very sure what it was at first but then I went through the direction book and so basically this tool is to measure your strand, each strand of hair to see if it is going to fit into the um, curling wand. This is to prevent you from overloading the wand so there's no tangles and it, it just curls your hair better. If you overload the wand it's probably going to tangle and not curl your hair. And actually, it could get your hair completely stuck into the wand. So I'm probably not going to be using that tool. I'm just going to kind of guess and each strand of hair kind of base each strand of hair the same size. So I don't have to use that tool every time um, I pull a strand of hair to put it into the curling wand. So here I have pulled the first strand of hair and I just put it into the... Um, curling wand like so and then when I hold down the buttons it starts curling it so then it beeps each second until it beats multiple beeps multiple times in a row and that's when you release the buttons to release the curl so each time I pull a strand of hair I'm making sure that there's no rats and the strand of hair is brushed all the way through to prevent any rats or anything like that because I have had some issues with automatic curlers before in the past with ratting up really bad to the point I had to cut a piece of hair out of my head because it ratted so bad up into the curling iron and so I'm just going to make sure each strand of hair is completely brushed through and ready to go into the wand also I am putting my hair down in layers and curling each layer individually instead of leaving all my hair down um, I found this is easier especially when you have to kind of pick um, strands of hair to put into the wand so I feel like this is easier to be able to curl your whole head and not miss any and also be able to grab a piece of um, a hair the right size to put into the wand so you don't overload it and I just did it stick it in super easy I'm really impressed with how easy it is to um, get the hair in to the wand like I've struggled before trying to get the hair into the wand but this one I love how it is more opened up where you're supposed to put your hair into the curling wand and it's super easy to release once you're ready to release it you just let go of the buttons and pull the curl down and the curl comes out
So far, I haven't had any rats or tangles or anything like that, and the curls have went in successfully and not ratted or anything like that and they're coming out looking super pretty um i love how the curl looks and you can kind of control can control how the curl looks by how much hair you put into the curling wand you don't want to put too much hair in like i said or it could overload and rat your hair up or but if you put more hair in the bigger the curl is going to be and the less hair you put in the smaller and tighter the curl is going to be if that makes any sense so I'm kind of trying to go kind of in the middle, not too much, but not too, but not too much, but enough to make the curl like a decent size. So with this automatic curler, you cannot change the direction the curl goes. So all the curls are going to kind of go the same direction. And I know before in the last video on that automatic curler, you could control what side, what way the curl goes by what side of the he your head you're curling. But this one does not do that. But with this curling iron, there is no, like the curl does not look like it belongs one way or another. It kind of is just a curl. It's not faced more to the right or more to the left. So I'm just letting down another layer of hair to curl. Um, and I really think this helps a lot. I like doing this to make sure I get every um, strand of hair on my head curled and I don't miss any. I think this helps a lot if you put it up in layers and let down each layer and curl individual layers at a time. And I'm honestly super shocked with how well the hair strand goes, is f able to be feeded into the curling wand part. Because like in my last video with that automatic curler, um, I was struggling a lot, especially when I switched to the other side. Because I'm right handed, when I switched to my left side and I was trying to curl it, I just couldn't get it held right to feed that hair into um, the curling iron part. But with this, I'm having no issues at all. I can just instantly put the curling wand up there and feed it in and I get it right in at the first try and it curls. And I think that is because this opening is a lot larger and honestly, I think maybe the curling wand itself is larger in this one so I really like how easy it is because when it is easier you don't have to spend time um trying trying to work with it and get that curl in and you can curl your hair a lot faster So I am going to be letting down my last layer of hair to curl. And I do want to add in that yes, this does have a cord, but it is not getting in my way when I'm trying to curl. It's like there is no cord at all, honestly. So here is what my hair looks like completely curled and I am still in shock that it actually curled my hair this good. I love that it curled my hair this good. I am just really shocked because I have a hard time curling my hair and this did it super fast and super easy. So I'm basically just going to be taking a pick and picking through my hair just so those curls aren't so tight and it looks more like a natural like wave.
Okay guys, here is what my hair looks like when I'm done. And I love how it turned out. I love the curls. The curls are super pretty and soft. Um, I'm really impressed with how it turned out and how well it curled my hair. Honestly, at first I was a little bit skeptical of this just because all the other um, automatic curlers I've tried haven't done that well. But this one went above and beyond and I'm so like impressed with it and shocked how well my hair turned out so this is what my hair looks like on both sides and the back and you guys can see it is completely curled and the curls are so pretty all right guys so i'm really really happy with how my hair turned out and i love the curls um i'm really happy with how they turned out my hair is kind of more harder to curl and it really this was very simple and it curled my hair like this instantly most of the times when I'm using a curling iron or anything I have maybe have to go and curl the same piece of hair a couple times to really get it to curl but actually this one curled on the first time every time um, it does on the box it does say higher curl definition and that is very very true because these curls are very like very curly they're very pretty and they're very like it looks like my hair just it like instantly give my hair like volume so i'm like really happy with how the curls look so not that long ago i did use another automatic curling iron but it was like a battery powered curling iron and compared to this one it did look a lot different um i actually can show you guys right now so this is the one i just used and then this is the one i used last time and this the one i just used was so much easier to feed the hair into the um curling iron part i didn't have any problems trying to get the hair in there like i did with that one like if you go back and watch the review i was struggling to get the hair to go in um to the curling iron part to be like to start spinning um and i think that's because this one is a little bit like open more this one is wider so maybe that has to do with it but over i really really like this curling iron it was super easy to use the curls look really good and it was very quick like i probably it probably took 20 minutes if that to curl my whole um head of hair and honestly i like this one more than i like this one but the only bonus about this one is that it's battery powered and cordless so you could take it anywhere and this one you are gonna have to have an outlet and plugged in to be able to use it I will be leaving the Amazon link for this curling iron in the description of this video if you're interested in checking that out. I definitely recommend this one. Um, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, the curls are gorgeous. And honestly, um, my hair doesn't even curl this good when I use like a regular curling iron. So like I'm really um, loving this right here and I'm going to keep using this. This is probably my favorite curling iron I have right now. Alright guys, that is all I have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.